Marcus Opius Traianius. I don't know why, but I love that name. Um, or Trajan for short. Uh, rules from 98 to 117. So almost 20 years. Uh, he is born outside of Rome. He's from Sevilla in Spain. Um, he was a very highly regarded military commander who had major uh, successes in Parthia, in the Near East, um, in campaigns against Germans, and was made what's known as Praetor, head of the army, and uh, consul, both in 91. Um, he is adopted by Nerva because of these military successes and pressure from the Praetorian Guard, and becomes the sole ruler of Rome in 98. Uh, he's known for his military more than anything else. Uh, he's probably best known for a military campaign against a group of people called the Dacians, which brings uh, it, the Dacian province into Rome, one of the wealthiest provinces that Rome enjoys in the 1st and 2nd centuries AD. Um, and although he is out on campaign for most of his career, he uses a network of informers and spies and clients to protect his policies and his person um, in Rome and outside of it. And um, he takes those public works that had been started by successors and he starts really expanding them outside of the empire, builds other major Roman cities, aqueducts and granaries with them. Um, and he's probably also the most ambitious military man we've seen since Julius Caesar. Uh, again, maybe go back to that opening, opening second, third slide um, and take a look at the successes of Trajan during this period right around the turn of the 1st and 2nd centuries. He suffers a stroke in 117 and dies, um, and he has, before this point, adopted Hadrian as his successor, so we'll move on to him.